Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between having these gray and white squares in your image and not having these gray and white squares in your image. Now this goes for Word, a website, Photoshop, any program you're using where you need to insert an image where you can get rid or eliminate or ensure that you do not have these gray and white squares in the background. Now the difference between these two images is basically the file. So let's go back to the source where I got these files from. So this is Pixabay where you can grab some free images online. So the gray and white squares tells me that this image has been isolated from the background. Now it is only isolated from the background, meaning that effectively when you import this image, these squares will disappear if it is a SVG or a PNG file. Now let's just go to free download here and you can see that all of the files available are a PNG file. Now a PNG file mean that these squares will disappear when you import it. Now, if I downloaded this image as a JPEG, which generally isn't possible, but on some websites you will find that you will do that, or you take a screenshot of this, then you will get those squares. So let's just go back to our Word document. Let's just get rid of these. If I go to insert, picture, picture from file, now here in my downloads, I've actually downloaded that file as a PNG. Now remember that did have the squares in the background, but because it's PNG, I'll select the file and click insert. You can see that I no longer have those squares in the background because this image is isolated. Now let's just move that one. There we go. If I go back up to insert, picture, picture from file, and now I go to my desktop, you can see I've got the same image up here, but this is a screenshot, or it could be a JPEG file, which means it's flat in the image, and it takes account of everything that you can see, including those squares in the background. And click insert, and you can see because of that, we now have those squares in the background. Now, if you've downloaded this file or taken a screenshot of this file and you actually want to get rid of that background, you can do that in Word. You can obviously do it in Photoshop. But if you wanted to do it in Word, click on the image, go to Remove Background, and you can see it's made it rather a mess of trying to isolate this apple. That's fine. You can just go up to Mark Areas to Keep. You can use your pen, just go over the top, like this. This is just very, very rough. And once you're happy, that's just a really, really rough guy. Once you've done that, you can see how you've now isolated that apple from that background. So you can get rid of those squares if you're prepared to cut the image out. But if you don't want the hassle of that and want just the image itself, you have to download it as a PNG file. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.